every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Tell them All right, y'all. So as you guys can see, beautiful IKEA sign. Let's go. And if you ever, well, I don't know about what layout you are or where, where you are at Ikea, but this Ikea, you can always skip through there and just go to the showroom, I mean, go to the market area where you can buy the stuff. You don't have to go through all that showroom stuff. All right, now Ikea initially had their food downstairs, but depending on what you want, most of the food is now upstairs. I think the hot dogs and the little stuff is still downstairs, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick look at this isn't this very cozy and beautiful they always know how to tie everything together so if you get a chance to stop by ikea make sure you grab a bite because it'll be worth it and it's gonna be affordable okay don't worry let's get to the real deal now when you come to ikea if you know exactly what you want then it's great to just go downstairs and get what you need but if you ever want to get some ideas, walk around and look at all the showrooms. Because, I mean, look at this. You get, you definitely get inspo. And you didn't hear it from me, but Ikea also makes a great place for pictures. But you didn't hear that from me. So, for the new apartment, I want to do something like this. I know I've been talking about it for the longest, but I promise I'm going to make it happen. But just FYI, doing a greenery wall is not cheap. So... That's, that's all I'm gonna say. Now, one thing that I love about Ikea is that they have a huge selection of plants, fake plants, pots, I love that. And you get an idea of how to organize it. Another thing to know, when you're at the showroom, you cannot grab anything from the showroom because if you do and you try to pay for it, whenever you're trying to pay for it, they're gonna be like, um, ma'am, you can't grab that, it was from the showroom. I can't remember how they know, but they know, okay? So don't grab anything, take a picture. What I will say, take a picture, because I don't know if you're gonna remember these crazy names, but hey, I don't, I do not remember these names. So take a picture and look for it in the market area. I'm really feeling this right here for the patio. And it went on sale for $44. Well, keep in mind, this is just one chair. So $44 each chair. Now, how much is this table? Wow, it's on sale too for $95. Okay, I wish it came as a set, but you do the math and see if it's worth it. I like it, I like it. I think it's pretty simple. We don't always need a big table for the patio, but the real question is, is it comfortable? You know, I don't know if this is comfortable. Another thing that I love about Ikea is their mirrors. I don't know if you've heard, but I'll show you guys later if they have it in stock. The famous $200 mirror, I believe, is always out of stock because everybody wants it and I don't blame them, okay? It's the nice, perfect Instagram mirror. But let's look at this one. This one's $80. And I mean, it's a pretty good length. I would say for the price, it's worth it. I'm not sure if this coffee table is new. I can't remember the last time I was here. So for me, this is new. Maybe it's not new. I will say though, for the price, I don't know. Like for the price, I feel like you can get something better elsewhere. And you can also decide if you want to do the little extension. But this one is $150. So I'm looking at this area over here. And that reminds me I need to get a cutting board because... I actually bought another cutting board from here and that one's perfect. I just need to buy another one, a little smaller one. So these bowls are really cute. I wonder I wonder what the name of these are. These are nice. Wow, I don't know if this table is new, but I don't think I've seen this table before. This hundred this one is $140. And I was looking for something like this not too long ago. I think this is a pretty good sized table and the price is doable. You also have the option of getting the little tables, but this one's $170. Oh, it's a set of two, that's why. Okay, that's not bad. So you get this one and you would get this one right here as well. Another thing that I love about Ikea is their vases. Their vases are not only affordable, but very chic and elegant. I mean, just look at this. 
it looks like a big light bulb but i'm i'm digging it and again the florals they never fail it always ties in together this little setting cart caught my eye for 99 dollars honestly i really really like it. it looks really really nice i like the material you get two storages you get the bottom and the top i like and you get the little handles and you can move it around as well now ikea has a good selection of sofas as well I'm trying to see which one i like i don't mind this one this one's this one looks nice and big there's so many options I like that one over there. Wow, how could I miss this leather couch? Wow, how much is that couch? So this leather couch is almost $2,000. Wow, we filled it up. Okay. I love the color. I, I honestly, I wasn't expecting to like it that much, but I like it. Although it might be a little too low to the ground, I don't know guys let me know this coffee table got my eye but look at how low it is it's a little it's a little low for me and it is 239 dollars but fortunately you get a little storage in the bottom right there you guys know console tables can be very very expensive i like this one it's elegant it's modern and it's only 150 dollars this coffee table right here is $150 and it's new. Definitely have never seen this one before. I'm not sure how I feel about the legs, but you guys decide. You guys like this or not. Every time I pass by this table, I love to just look at it because one day I'm gonna get it, okay? It's really, really nice. I love the creativity here. Obviously, you can put whatever you want in here, but I like this concept. And you also do have storage there. Oh, or not. <laughs> it's make-believe, y'all. <laughs> I say make-believe. It's make-believe. This one doesn't actually open, and you do get some storage at the bottom. But honestly, I mean, technically, this in here is storage. It just depends. Like, I mean, <laughs> would you want to store something here for everybody to see or not? And if I missed the price, it is $379. Now this is my dream kitchen. Wow. With my dream dining room. Okay. I and mean, just look at that. Wow. Would you cook in this kitchen? I sure would. Oh, you know it's fancy when the microwave when the microwave is hidden. Okay. The sink, I would like the sink to be a little bigger and deeper. But besides that, I like it. I like it a lot. It's definitely a must to have one of these sinks that oh, one of those sinks that pulls out like this and then you can just spray everything. It probably does that, but maybe I'm reading it too much into this into this fake kitchen. <laughs> Let's see if we have any food in the fridge, y'all. Hold up. See, they always got food. They, mm, and we got some wine. Okay. One thing Ikea is going to do, guys, is make it as real as possible. So, we do have food. We got broccoli. Okay. The fridge is stocked up. Bed. I don't have to buy any groceries. Okay. Ooh, I got some leftovers yesterday from that sushi place. Okay, okay. I also enjoy this kitchen because it makes a small room look spacious and it uses the space wisely you see we use that space there everything is being used for something even the walls whenever you don't have space use the wall the wall is your friend and to the corner we have a built-in desk you see utilize any space i did buy one of these a couple years ago but i don't know how to hang them i'm not gonna lie to y'all i don't know how to hang them but an idea that you could do is buy these buckets and use it for your makeup brushes and hang them on the wall ideally i want to do that but like i said i don't know how to put them on the wall i don't listen i bought them and that was <laughs> that was that i wanted to show you guys this because i believe somebody tried to poop here one time <laughs> because <laughs> need the restroom follow blue signs for the nearest restrooms <laughs> 
You are not about to poop in this toilet, y'all. Do not. <laughs> okay, I see another new sign. We got a new sofa for $1,819. I like it. If it comes with these pillows, sold. I like it a lot. I love the material. I'm not sure if it's going to be one of those annoying materials that whenever you put something, like, let's say I'm sitting down and it might get stuck on my fabric. I don't know. It might be that kind of sofa, but you decide. I think it's perfect. I like how long it is, how tall it is, and I love the little cushions. Now, is it comfortable? Let me sit down. Okay, okay. It's jumpy. It's jumpy. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Now this is tight over here, even though it's blocked off, I'm not even going to try to go through it, but I just wanted to show you guys. We wrap in Houston. Hey. Now I have never seen this table before. I like it. It's $99 for me. It's perfect. And you get a little, you know, a little storage in the bottom. Not too much because you can't put everything, you know, if you got something tall, you can't put it there, obviously, but... I like that. For $99, guys, this is really good, and I love the wood. Okay, I don't know when the last time I was here. I know I keep saying that, but wow. I feel like the prices have gotten better. This coffee table is $79, and if you don't want to go for the circular one we just looked at, you could just go for a more rectangular table. This one's white, but for the price and the storage below, can you beat it? It's pretty good size. Now we're getting to the chair sections. Now from chairs, you have a lot of options. I know you can cost customize some of them. I'm not seeing anything new. Oh, okay, I see this chair right here is new. This kind of looks like an office chair or like a lounge chair. For $400, I'm not sure about the price. You know what? It reminds me of that couch we looked at, but this is a little darker. And the ottoman does not come with the chair, unfortunately. So you're going to be coming out of about $600 if you want to get the two-piece set. So I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. Look at all the color and shapes and sizes, though. Oh, look, we have another new piece. We have this new chair for $200. Let's see if the cushion's comfortable. So the cushion is a little rough. I know my butt would hurt sitting there for a couple hours, so. They also have this other ottoman for $179. I know that this color is definitely in right now, so. Ooh, we hit the jackpot right here. We're here by the sleeper sofas. Basically like the pull-out sofas that turn into a bed. I think that's ideal whenever you get a home. If you have a second room, but you have it for different purposes. This storage combination is perfect for a big TV. And you do get a lot of storage. Okay. That's a lot of storage. More storage down there. And the same on the other side. I love these little storage bins. I don't know if you guys have seen these before. You can either get them with a lid or without a lid. And I love them. And I love the price and variety and sizes that they, that they do have. They come with different colors, different sizes like I mentioned. And you get a little handle. And for $4, honestly, I like it. Another new piece that's new, $529. You can either put this somewhere in the entryway. I can see this being the entryway with the big mirror on top. Or maybe in, I don't know, to me it could be maybe in a kid's room. All depends. Pretty good storage. Oh, guys, I like this. When you open it, it's not your traditional, you know, one door type of thing. It slides and open. Okay. Nice. I like that. Elevated, okay. And the color, y'all know I like dark wood, okay. Can you guys tell? I love it. And again, this is $529. At the end of this video, there should be somebody that put this thing with the middle finger on it. Trust me. And while we're over here, this piece is new for $560. The price went down. Okay. I like the details on this one. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. 
but I really like it. it says with sliding doors. Okay. Nice. Another great thing that IKEA is known for is their affordable frames, y'all. Wait till we get downstairs and I can show you guys what they have to offer. But these are just some of them. This is a good starters. They have different frame colors and frame sizes. But again, as we get to the that area, I can show you guys even more. But I did just want to mention that real quick because IKEA is awesome for a bunch of things. Okay, okay. Looks like we just interrupted a photo shoot. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, that's crazy. This has to be new because I've never... Wow. This is kind of like a backdrop. Well, it is. To me, that's a backdrop. It says something else on the description. But I'd say this is a backdrop. If you can get this as a green, you could essentially use this as a green screen. And for $32, I like that concept. Who said Ikea didn't think of everything? We even got gaming chairs, okay? All right now. And this one is new. This one is $369, okay? Now, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> like what is that <laughs> okay you get a little pillow <laughs> it's a little funny <laughs> I love the color you guys know I love purple I like the little stand that it's on it's a star oh here's the hand nobody's done the finger yet oh oh my god they blocked it off y'all they blocked it off <laughs> y'all they found the solution they blocked it off so y'all wouldn't do the finger I don't know if you've seen this but if you like making content I know we need good lighting you put your phone here Turn this on, bam. Got the whole setup. You don't need to break the bank for a ring light. Get this little ring light. And how much is this one? This one is $40. I don't know if you guys can see the name up there. Lane Spilare. Listen, IKEA is German, so excuse me. Another great thing IKEA is known for, I know y'all heard of this one, the Alex 9 drawers. Here they are. The famous Alex 9 drawers. Yep. It depends on which one you get that the price does vary. So I've always wanted to get this one. One day I'm gonna get it. Don't worry. One day I'm gonna get it. But another issue with these Alex 9 drawers, since they're so popular, it's always hard to get them while they're in stock. So if you ever get lucky and you want them, you better go get them. They got it in blue. They got it in black. Look at this whole kitchen, y'all. Oh my goodness. Wow. Now, what really stands out to me about this kitchen is the handles. I love the silver handles. It makes it pop out even more. Wow. And they're utilizing storage everywhere in this kitchen, you guys. Everywhere. It's a lot of drawers. A lot of storage. This is something I haven't seen before. You get this island, but you can kind of show off what you like. I really like this island because you kind of have this centerpiece right here that you can show off anything you'd like, and I love that because you guys know that the island can get a little crowded and it can be overwhelming because this is where you cook. So sometimes you might have to take out or move a flower or anything that makes the island special. So here you don't have to worry about that and you get a little light under it. I love that. I love that. I feel like I've never seen that before, but let me know if you guys have. Kind of getting towards the end of the showrooms, I believe, unless I'm mistaken, but we'll see. This is just a little bit of what they have to offer for the kitchen. There are so many things IKEA has to offer. When I tell you guys they thought of everything, I mean it. They have silverware. This one's a 20 piece for $13. Now I will say, I feel like whenever you get to pieces like this, I would suggest you buy something more expensive because it'll last you a long time instead of, let's say you find out that you don't love this one and you end up buying another another silverware set that's not expensive either i'm not saying expensive is the best but in my experience the more expensive the better quality and the longer lasting so keep that in mind whenever you're buying things that you're gonna have for years centuries you know keep that in mind and here are the famous lids 
or like box with lids I don't know you can get them you can get them with a lid or without a lid it's all up to you what you want to do with this different colors the sizes like I mentioned and obviously with different sizes it comes with different prices as well but overall it is pretty affordable and I don't think I feel like you can't beat Ikea like if I see this in another store let's say for Target this is gonna be $10 off the bat so keep that in mind another thing that I like about Ikea is their knobs I don't know about you but knobs can be very very pricey for this you can buy something nice and classy for the price of $11 and you get two packs for most of them okay so Hey, start thinking, maybe you want to change up some furniture, maybe you just need to change out the handles. Getting into the bedding side of things. Now, honestly, with bedding, I have no clue what's best because I've never bought a any bedding from Ikea. Now, I know my mom did, so honestly, from what I can remember, I have no complaints. Then again, I feel like when you're a kid, you don't really care. So <laughs> with Ikea, I will say, honestly, you don't get any deals. Like there's no discount on any of this. So maybe you're better off going to a mattress firm or something like that where you can get a deal. Look at this walk-in closet. This is everything and more. <laughs> Big, nice walk-in closet. Ooh. And she even have what, Chanel? She got Prada, okay. Nice. I like this. Wow. I wish I would have put the, I wonder where the, what's the name of this one? Oh, it doesn't say, but I can bet you anything that this is probably gonna be about $50 because you get two compartments. So let's say you wanna do the whites and the darks in another, or maybe you wanna do clothes and undergarments right here. I love it and I like this as well because you can also remove this and clean it as well this is another great mirror for $180 I feel like you always need a big mirror to take pictures and I like this one but wait till I show you guys the famous $200 mirror you guys are gonna be like oh I gotta get that look at this bedroom right here oh my god these florals this fake florals right here are speaking to me I'm telling you guys it makes you want to buy the whole thing. This is beautiful. Now, y'all know the stem. Each stem is going to be pricey. So, keep that in mind. But this this vase, I've been wanting to get this vase for the longest. I feel like everybody needs a vase like this. I forget to mention the best thing about Ikea. They have vanities. Yup. Look at this, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Don't tell me you've never wanted something like this before now. Wow. This is Evergirl's dream. Put some Alex, oh, see? They thought of everything I was about to say. Put some Alex in our drawers over here and you're good to go. Cause you can put all your makeup in there. Look at this idea for a kid's room. First of all, let's admire the lights cause your baby is gonna love the lights. Everything about this room is nice. Oh my God. If I was a kid, I would be in this room 24 seven. You get a little cave room. You know, whenever whenever we were little, we used to build little cave, like a little cave with a bunch of blankets and pillows. And for only $7, you can have your little shelves where you can put your baby books there to read to your baby. Oh, I love it. And the color. You cannot complain about the color. I know you guys can't really see the color here, but it is a basic wood color now if you didn't know ikea does have a little baby section not even little i'm not even gonna say little they have a baby section so if you're interested come to ikea i know i told you guys prices are good and i meant that so i know baby stuff can be expensive so may i suggest come to ikea and look at what they have to offer i know they have baby toys that are affordable as well so you might want to check that out i don't have a kid so i don't really know what to look for but just letting you guys know the option is here i believe this is a tub for the baby oh yeah bath bath baby bath yeah 15 dollars. okay towels clothes is this the potty train thing oh yeah the potty training i like these these are cute they're simple but i don't feel like you need to do too much for 
a baby high chair. Also, why does this white look too white? A baby monitor for $40? Where? Okay. Oh, what is this? I've, I've always wanted this. <laughs> Anytime I build my Sims baby a room, I have to put this on their crib. Little bowls and cups for the baby. Okay, $3 for a six pack. Y'all know what time it is. It's shopping time. Oh, I'm excited. Let's grab our cart and let's try not to go crazy. That works. One thing to note, if you've never grabbed an Ikea cart, they are very slippery and wiggly, okay? So hang on to it tight. Whenever you first get downstairs, I have a lot of stuff that's really affordable. You got these candles, hangers, and chair pads for $5. Now they changed a couple things up, but not much has changed. When you first walk down, the first thing that you're gonna see is the kitchen area. Are these measuring cups? Okay, so these are measuring cups. I'm not sure what kind of measuring cups these are, but they're here, we're an option. And how much are these? I don't even think these are in the right place. They're not $12. Oh, right here. Set of four, $2.49. Ikea has the best affordable lids and pans, depending on what you're looking for. Some saucepans are really, really affordable here. It just depends on what you're looking for. For example, this one, this pot with lid is only $10. Okay. I bought this one for $12.99 before and it still has lasted. I still like, I like to use this one for when I make shrimp fried rice, stuff like that. Just so you guys get a very better view of what you're getting. It's pretty big. With Ikea's bedding, I've always wanted to get into all this, the duvet covers and all, but I don't know. I'm just not there yet. Maybe one day. They have so many options, I didn't even realize. They have comforters for the right temperature. Extra warm, y'all see over there it says light warm. This one over here says warm comforter. So depending on where you live, Ikea is very considerate of that. We appreciate you, Ikea. Pillows, let's talk about it, okay? Pillows can be very, very pricey, including Ikea's pillows, but I don't know about this one though. <laughs> $120, I don't know. I don't know if I ever need to spend that much on a pillow. If I do, then I don't know. Y'all better check on me. If you're short like me, then you might need a stool. Luckily for you, you can get nice cute stools or you can get this basic one. I remember growing up, my mom bought this one. So this one brings flashbacks. Another thing that's also expensive is these stools. I don't know why, but this is actually not bad. But I will say you can get a better deal on stools at Dollar, Dollar Tree, I think. Oh, wow. They have it in a black version, too. I don't remember the black. Every time I pass by these pillows, it reminds me of Fenty. I don't know why. And then I'm tempted to get it, but then I don't. But I will say, while we're over here by the pillows, I did want to show you guys that you can get this pillow for only $10 and look for any cushion cover you'd like. And what's cool about that is you don't have to stick to one pillow technically because you can always just switch out the cover and that way you don't get tired of the same boring pillow. So that's just an idea. If you guys have seen my living room and the pillows that I have, it's from here, Ikea. So you can do that karate chop in the middle okay I think it's these right here so boom you're here karate chop oh <laughs> maybe it's not this one <laughs> I'm for real y'all you can karate chop these pillows so if you're looking for the karate chop proof that works get these pillows they work I don't know why that one was so stiff but look at all these covers okay there's no excuse now of you saying you need to get a whole new pillow. And pillows can be pricey as well. So Ikea always comes out with different color patterns. So be on the lookout for that. I just want to see if I like any myself actually while we're here. Let me look. I'm honestly more drawn to these colors. I'm digging blue these days. I love this red. I like this red too right here. Kind of matches my, ah, the match. Ikea has a lot of storage options. I know that these little baskets are trending right now, per se. And what better place to buy some than Ikea? I like this one right here. Basket with handle. 
Nice. I wish it was a little bigger. Now, one thing that I will say about these kind of baskets, I feel like you can find something good at Goodwill on the right day for like $5. Didn't I tell you guys that by the end, we would see one? We found that one. <laughs> so, oh look, they did, they did this one, that one, and I don't know what that one is. I'm not sure what that one's trying to do either. I've never seen this colorful ones, but <laughs> we have these cute little hang, or like, what are, what are these called? Well, I guess like hangers, I guess. Not hangers, but you guess, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. So you can put like your coat here. I like this, this is so cute. Because it also serves as decor. It's not just for you to put your clothes or keys or whatever. It also is nice on its own where there's nothing on there. And, oh, it's a hook, okay. See, I can't speak English today, y'all. $7 for these three pack of chairs. Cute. Storage bins, every mom's dream. And the best ones to get are the clear ones because you want to know exactly what's in there and you want to label it, but whenever you get clear, even if you don't label them or the label came off or whatever the reason, clear, you can always tell what's inside. Another cool, unique feature that IKEA has to offer is these little lights with sound. So essentially, it's a two-in-one. You can get light and music. Let's see if we can... Does it want to... Ooh. And, you know, you can turn it up, turn it down. Okay. Nice. LED lamps have to be new because I feel like I've never seen that before. But I love that little butterfly one. I love the color. I love everything about it. And for $27... Oh, look, they have more options. Oh, yeah, see, I told y'all this is new. Oh, they got a little turtle, a little chat box, a little face. Getting to my favorite part of Ikea. This is something on my wish list is that big mirror. Also, is this new? You can use this mirror to do your makeup, even though it doesn't have the lights. I honestly don't think you need the lights. Like, honestly, if you have lights in your home, just use that. And they have the round mirrors. I will say you can find something more affordable at Marshalls or something like that, but I did just want to show you guys these. Okay, so this is the one I was telling you guys about. It's actually cheaper than what I remember it to be, $179. Look, it goes all the way up there. Getting to the frame of things like we were talking about. They have paintings, classical paintings like, you know, the Eiffel Tower, New York, stuff like that. But the frames is where the good deals are, for real. Because y'all know frames can be expensive. Just look at all the options. And look at this big frame, for example. Look at this big frame for $20. For real, a 50 by 70, please. Anywhere else? Oh, we're getting towards the end of our little Ikea video. I love looking at the florals, but honestly, I don't have the patience to grab this. Because it's like, I see it in the showroom, but then once you see how many they put in there, it's like you're damn near gonna spend like $50 for everything you need. Okay, so these are called Smuck. I don't even know, Smuck. And these are $7 each. See, this is what I mean, y'all. Like, that is too pricey because what am I gonna get, like 10? I don't know. Maybe it's not too pricey. Just depends on what you what you like. Although I might get it, honestly. Let me see if it bends. Let's see if it bends. Okay, so they do bend. Okay. These are so cute. I kind of want to get some. Should I get two? Okay. Here is the greenery wall idea. Now. Like I said, this will add up now because these are $6 each and it's not all in one. If you get what I'm saying, it's like a little square. So it, it'll add up for a whole wall. You're looking at about $200, I'm, I'm telling you. See, this is what it looks like, a little square. <laughs> and look what they make it out. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Yes, it's beautiful, but pricey. Oh, this is the plant that I have in my bedroom, if you guys were wondering. I like this one it's long oh I like hanging plants so and this one is a feshka I cannot believe we went through the whole Ikea and all I got was these fake flowers that's crazy 
maybe I was focused on recording more than I was on looking at things, but still, still, that's crazy. That's crazy. Never ever have I ever left with one or two items. That's crazy. But anyways, thank you guys for shopping with me and looking at all the things that Ikea has to offer. I'm telling y'all, y'all have to come here and check it out. We'll spend a whole day at Ikea, get lost. Listen, this is like a vacation for me. So take the time out of your day and come to Ikea and come early because I'm telling y'all, it's going to get crazy. It gets crazy now. So come early and come prepared to spend some money, okay? And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!